Hello, welcome. Ian Cox here and my lovely wife. Emma Cox. So we're so glad to have you here. We're going to be doing this TJ Ed vlog. And so what a better place to start than what is TJ Ed? <laughs> and if you can't tell, I don't know why I lifted this up. I, I'm such a visual kinesthetic learner that I just have to hold and show something. But this is the blog that Oliver and Rachel wrote that's called What is TJ Ed? So we're going to be pulling a lot from this one for the first one because we want to just hit that basic piece. So let me just read. Actually, they have a bolded italicized section here that says TJ Ed philosophy in a nutshell. Pretty good, right? Every student has inner genius. And the best educational results are usually attained when a mentor continually assesses what the individual student needs and tries to help deliver it. All right? Pretty that simple. Pretty right? Good, right? That's pretty good, right? That's a pretty good <laughs> philosophy. And when I first heard this and came across TG Ed, when my mom and my family uh, came across this years ago, it sounded pretty awesome. Well, yeah, that just it resonates. It makes sense. Like that sounds awesome as compared to other options that you can try or have tried or been through, right? And then... You try to live it, <laughs> and all of a sudden it gets really complex. And you say, "Well, the 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 my scholar by change, or I'm changing my the family dynamics. Are like, how do you keep up with all the change? And how do you personalize? And what's the best? And what about this class? And what about that? And there's all of a sudden millions of questions. And, and so, what does that even mean? Right. <laughs> how do you actually do that? Um, it's hard. I, it's tricky. I think one thing that that is a major thing that we teach in TJ Ed to kind of help expand that vision of what that looks like, of what it means, is asking ourselves the question, who was the best teacher you ever had? And then asking some additional questions of why they were the best, what made them the best. Did they really care about you? You know, or did they inspire you? Did they help you get a vision of who you could become or what you would want to become? Did they, were they so passionate about a certain topic that made you get excited about it? Or, you know, things like that. What was it that made them such a great teacher? And then trying to apply that. And frankly, all of the answers to those questions are pieces of what this leadership education philosophy is all about. Because just like there are just all these different children, even so there are so many different answers to what it looks like to personalize education to their inner genius. But by asking and finding those concrete examples of what made teachers in our own lives and in our own experiences so great, it helps us to get a little bit of a feel for what it looks like to be such a great teacher as we try to apply the things that made them great personalized to the lives of the students and children in our homes and classrooms. Because it's a lot easier to, to connect with it, to understand it when we know what it feels like or what it looked like for us. And so when you can find out what classics that really inspired you, that moved you, what great teachers, as Emma said, were inspiring that helped you become something more that moved you. What is, you know, what does that look like? What does that feel like? How did they do it? And then just start doing that. I mean, that's, that's your really basic first piece. Just start doing that. So we'll dig into the the basic, the 12 central points. So if you wanted a little bit more expanded sum up than just right. the nutshell. It's still a summary, but. The top 12, um, you know, principles of TJ Ed. And the first one is kind of like Ian mentioned. It's very simple. It's that every single person has genius and potential for greatness. And the purpose of education, of great education, is to find that inner genius, to develop that inner genius, and then around that to give general knowledge, to strengthen it and uh, to enable. I was going to say inhibit. I was trying to <laughs> filter through a bunch of words, but to enable that inner genius. Another one is that students typically find that genius and are able to develop that genius best as they are pursuing uh, topics and ideas that they are already naturally passionate about. <laughs> And with that, that's where the mentor comes in and the parent, the leader, the inspire to help grow. The part of the purpose of a, of a mentor is to expand the scholars' interests and their passions. Another is that it's so important that the focus of mentors, whether this is coaches, teachers, parents, or any other types of mentors, the focus is on learning, not on educational systems or bureaucracy or any sort of schooling, but the focus is on the learning aspect of the child's education. Which leads to a, another one of those key pieces that uh, purpose of education is to identify, to discover, and develop life purpose. Because a genius is created for something. They're a savant for something. And so when you can discover that, develop, and prepare for that, that's that's the purpose of great education. I think another one that's really important is that as 
mentors are seeking, as Ian said before, to expand the passions and interests of their students, of their mentees, that it's important to remember that, yes, we can, as mentors, we can challenge them and help them get excited and inspired about finding new passions and areas of excitement, that even so, passion is still the pilot there, and that that's the main focus of how we get there. And it's interesting to see that great education, the next point, is that uh, it almost always flows from great mentors, great teaching, from that inspiration, that spark that turns on and says, oh, that is interesting. Maybe I should look into it. That's such a key piece. And the best way to become a better mentor or to develop yourself as a mentor is like we talked about earlier, to identify the great mentors that you've had in your life, clarify what made them great, and then seek to emulate those traits and those things in your own mentoring journey, personalizing it to the needs and, and opportunities, talents, gifts, and genius of the individual students you're dealing with. And that next point, that is the role of mentors, is to inspire to set the example, <laughs> and to personalize it to each of their students that they work with. Um, another is that the overall responsibility of getting a great education is in the hands of the student. Mentors inspire, but students, or I, maybe it shouldn't be, but it's mentors inspire and students study and learn. Love that one. And this next one is really key. This one, it potentially is one of the more important ones on here. And that's one of the harder ones to really, to, to live into, is that parents, you really are the expert, the only true expert of your home and your children. Everything else is just a support. And teachers, mentors, you really are the only expert of your classroom. Those are, those are important roles and, and pieces. And, it, and it's hard. That's a big responsibility sometimes. But guys, this, this is exciting. This is, this is powerful. This is so enabling. It, don't, don't think of it as a weight. Sure, there's a little bit of a learning curve as you practice <laughs> and you make mistakes. But guess what? That's life. There's mistakes anywhere you go. So join the ride. It's such a fun journey. And these principles, as you start to apply them and as you start to experiment with them, as you read more and as you play more and as you read and discuss, as you think back of those great teachers and those great classics that you've been through and just try to emulate those, it just falls into place. It just works. It's, I love those stories of hundreds of people that I've talked where they say, oh, I, I was so afraid that this wouldn't happen, but we just trusted the process. We went through, we just kept taking step after step and, and working through it. And, and now it's just fruit. It's just, it's just abounding. It's just flowing. It's just, <laughs> it comes I love together. It, really it does. Does. It's, it it's, works. it's fun. It's, it's a fun process. It's a fun thing. So if you want more of this, again, we're going to have this, this vlog series continuing on, but to dig into more of the basics, that foundational piece, you got to watch, uh, the, the three video series. That's what we call it. The three video series by Rachel. Cause she's going to go over a, a little bit longer segment of the general. What is TJ ed? Dig into the six point plan of a family reset. How do you detox? How do you reset? How do you get a good start? And then she's going to go over more of the basic principles, the phases of learning. So some of these we'll, we'll touch on here and there. We'll get into it. We'll dig more throughout the vlog on these principles. And again, like I said, we'll go through a lot of the ideas and philosophies and stories and how to's. And we'll just be all over the place with this, this vlog and have a lot of fun. But if you want to dig in to get that foundational piece really solid, the three video series by Rachel is awesome, absolutely phenomenal. And then you really want to be mentored through this process and really just do amazing at this just take it out a whole it'll just sprint with it how many expletives can, you get that can i energy? do if you want like, that that energy with your tj ed experience and to be mentored by Oliver and Rachel in doing it. Again, remember that they are mentoring this. There's a specific intent and reason and design that they did this program. So mentoring in the classics with the TJ impl implementation. So the course that we do is really is honestly, it might seem a little bit simplistic at first. It might seem a little strange. It might seem, well, give me more specifics. Give me more structure. Give me more system. Give me more conveyor belt. Step back. Take a deep breath and say, Oliver and Rachel, will you be my mentors? Do it for at least six months without fail. And it will revolutionize your homeschool. If you're a veteran, you've been doing this for decades, it will revolutionize. These guys are top world-class mentors. They will absolutely change how you approach this. If you're brand new, then you're lucky because you've got Start top right. world-class mentors to walk you through this whole process of how to get a truly great education and inspire others to do the same. All right.
Go out, have fun. We'll talk to you soon.